This is my visual aid for today. It's a jigsaw of a hundred pieces for those who are five years old and older. It's about my level, actually. I could probably do it with a little bit of help from my grandchildren. I'm indebted for the illustration today to a friend of mine called Kay, who was given some jigsaw pieces in a plastic bag uh, and asked if she could make it up during this time of lockdown into the jigsaw puzzle, but there was no picture to guide her, just pieces in her bag. And so she set about uh, doing this, thinking there might be, say, 500 pieces in the jigsaw. Turns out there's clearly a thousand pieces in the jigsaw, a bit of a surprise. Uh, by the way, some of us have had a similar surprise. We thought lockdown was going to be three weeks. Turns out to be at least twice that. Uh, bit of a shock to our system. So no doubt Kay was shocked to discover there were a thousand pieces, not 500. Now, she was working completely blind without this uh, guide on the front to show what it was supposed to look like. And so she started, as we nearly all do with uh, jigsaw puzzles, trying to make the edges work, all the straight edges round the uh, side. And then slowly but surely different features emerged. There wasn't quite clear what they were aiming towards or how it all fit together or what it was going to look like in the end until it was finally, after days and days of work, put together. And even then, it wasn't entirely clear what it was to be about until it finally emerges as the completed picture. It was a reminder uh, to me uh, about the challenges of lockdown for so many of us. We don't really understand it. How on earth has our world got to this point in a few short weeks from, quote, normality to this craziness, which is about sheltering in our place, which is about being constrained in our homes? How, how did that happen? What's going on? Why did God allow it? What's he doing through it? When will it end? What will the repercussions be? We've got lots and lots of questions and precious few answers. And really, frankly, that's because we're human, us, and God's God. Bigger than us, vast, knowable in Christ, but hugely unknowable in his magnificence, far greater than the human mind can understand. Beyond our comprehension, we know just a little of the magnificence of the God who created us, how wise he is how deep he is, how incredible he is. He knows the end from the beginning. He has the full picture, the total picture. He knows what it looks like and what it's going to look like, but we don't know. And so what we have to do in lockdown today is trust in the fact that he knows what's going on, that he hasn't lost control of his world or of the universe, but he's still in charge on planet Earth. And that COVID-19 didn't take God by surprise. He didn't wake up one morning in heaven and go, gosh, what Earth's going on down there? No, no, he wasn't taken by surprise. He knows the big picture, even though we only know a small fraction of it at the moment. And so I want to end the broadcast today with this reading from the scripture, just to focus and to read it slowly and read it just so that we can concentrate on how amazing our God is. He knows everything, but we don't know everything. His knowledge is complete, our knowledge is unbelievably partial and incomplete. So revel in these words of the greatness of our God from Romans chapter 11, verse 33. Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments, and his paths beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has ever been his counsellor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay him? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. And so we all say to that about our great God.